Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel again. Uh, in the previous video, I already show and share about uh, the I/O, the I/O module of uh, PLC SLC 500 already. So in this section, I will uh, create the sample program and start and stop the motor control after we uh, back up sorry after we configure the IO module okay so first we must configure the IO module first so let's open the RS lineage classic okay run as administrator okay so uh, in the previous video, we already uh, insert the driver for configuration. So let's check again. First, uh, check the COM port first. Right now, I already uh, connect the USB port to the CPU of Allen Relay PLC. Okay, so let's check the COM port and confirm again. I take out the COM part and insert again. Okay, right now we use COM3. Okay, COM3. So let's check here. Is it COM3? Okay, so we must click the auto config. Okay, if uh, it show like this, it means that we already connect the between computer and CPU of PLC and Relay successfully. So let OK. OK, close this. And uh, the next, we should uh, open the software RS Logic 500. OK. So uh, first, we create the new project. So click File and then choose New. In this uh, project, I use the CPU L54 to C 5 slash 4 CPU. Yes, this this module. Okay. So click, and then uh, I will auto config the I/O. Okay. So I will show the I/O first. Yes. Okay. Uh, for now, I already uh, on the power to the power supply of. Allen Bradley PLC and uh, CPU is a uh, remote mode. Okay, and uh, this I/O I already discuss and uh, introduce already in the previous video. Totally, we have uh, four input digital input, and one input is the use sixteen point or sixteen bits. Okay. So totally four module for input and uh, output we use three modules okay and fast input one module and uh, I just add one more for analog module okay so totally we have one two three four five six seven eight and nine okay and then uh, module okay so let auto config the IO to uh, to do it please click the IO configuration okay now we not yet uh, create the IO right so it is blank we have only one for uh, CPU or processor, okay. 
So to do this section, click uh, read the I/O config, read I/O config, okay. And uh, this one related to the IS lineage that we already create. So click this one. I will open the IS lineage to show again. This one right here. Okay, so, so we choose the who active. Okay, and then choose the PLC 500 DH485. Okay, so this one, click OK. And then choose the read IO config. Okay, click IO config. Yes. You see, the I/O uh, automatically update in the software. It means that uh, it it upload the I/O to uh, from the hardware to the software. Okay. So the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. The same hardware. Okay, so this is a how to uh, automatically config the I/O. For normally, we also we can uh, also create the manual by manual mode from drag and drop from this, but uh, it take time because many many uh, I/O here. Otherwise, we we will confuse. So the automatically is uh, very easy and not confused okay so click here and then uh, choose compile okay build it means that build so this is uh, the, the concept how to uh, auto config the IO so in the next I will create the sample program to uh, control the motor I have uh, one small motor yes here this motor is uh, yes 230 volt AC okay and uh, this is the contactor yes and this is a main trigger that I already uh, wiring, yes. And uh, I will choose the push two push button. This is a start and this is a stop. So when I click, I press one. This this green motor, sorry, this green button, the motor will run. Okay. After that, I click. I want to stop. I click this red button. The motor will stop. Okay. So uh, I will use uh, two I/O. These two input. One is a start and other one is stop. I already marked the cable. You see, here is a start. Input zero. Here, terminal zero. You see, this is. Terminal zero, and for the uh, input one, I use stop that I already connect from this button. So when this button on, motor is stop. Okay, and then uh, I will use one uh, digital output from this. Yes, this is the contact dry contact here. I use the uh, bit number zero, output zero, okay, to uh, control this contactor. Yes, Con connect to the coil of contactor, and this contactor uh, will uh, will on after I press the button start. Okay, it uh, two hundred and twenty two volt AC. Okay, so let's start the 
write the same part program okay to do the same part program click here and then choose the this this one new okay new rank so I will explain more so uh, I'm explain yes to control the motor I will choose the two uh, push button right so push button yes yes this is a button stop and this is a button start this is the output right yes and uh, I will write the whole thing now yes no need to press whole yes so this is a stop SP and this is a start ST okay and uh, this is the output right I write the queue and this is the queue also for hold the signal so uh, this is the control circuit that I will create in the program so for power circuit I have one motor right so uh, from the Q so Q on will uh, let the contactor on right this is a K1 contactor yes so this is when Q on output on right the contact will on and then uh, K1 is on contactor is on this is a natural okay so when uh, contactor on right so when K1 on the motor right motor arm will run okay okay this is a uh, circuit electrical circuit diagram of uh, how to control the motor so let's start uh, write the program okay so I will choose the Q0 right sorry I0 right this is the I0 sorry I1 and this is the I0 and this is a Q0 right Q0 so this is a Q0 okay K1 so let's start write the program and download to test so uh, I will choose the button stop first right so stop and go to this input okay so I choose uh, input 1 for stop right so input 1 here is input 1 you see 1 okay so we can command uh, stop stop button stop button right okay and then I will choose the NO right for start okay and uh, go to the input one and then choose the I0 right I0 is uh, sorry this I0 is start right so go to I0 
and drag and drop it and then command stop start button okay and uh, I will choose the output for control the contactor right so go to the view output right here and then click I use the Q0 ok and then command motor 1 running ok motor 1 running and then I will hold the signal right so to, to write this program choose this one drag and drop ok and then click this one to here and then choose the NO right for hold the signal and then drag and drop this one yes it's very easy for uh, as logic flow for create the, the new program because we just drag and drop from IO or from the uh, input and output okay so already we create all this so compile and then save the project example uh, control one motor okay so I will check the, this one system communication this one download yes okay right uh, right now we already download to the processor and then go online okay so right now is the program mode right so the program mode the output not right to control the contactor so right now I will freeze to remote mode okay so remote So this one remote mode right and then I will freeze to run mode okay the program show run mode right okay so uh, let's start the program test so when I press this button it means that button start right so I press this button you see the motor is running and the program also on right you see the output is on okay output is on and motor is running you see motor is running contactor on and motor is running so uh, when I want to stop I just press this red button okay so please okay start again okay motor is running stop okay so uh, this is the same file program for start and stop one motor okay so uh, thank you very much for watching my video and we will uh, see you next video and I will show some uh, option of uh, software as logic 500 pro okay so thank you very much again and uh, see you next video bye bye